Alright, I asked you to solve this system of equations algebraically. So, there are two main methods. Okay, the first of which is substitution, and the second of which is elimination. Um, Substitution can pretty much be done just about any time. Um, substitution is always a surefire thing. Um, elimination is a little, it's actually much quicker, but it can't be done all the time. And in this case, I see a Y and a Y, so right out of the gate it's looking like substitution will be nice and easy. Whereas elimination, this thing here has an X squared, and this doesn't have an X squared, so I know elimination it's not worth doing. Technically I could do it, but it's not entirely worthwhile at that juncture. Um, it becomes a big production uh, beyond that. So I see rather quickly that these y's, if I get these equal to each other, I can just set this system equal to each other. Okay, so this thing right here has got this nasty 15x on that side, so we're going to need to move that. But before we do, let's identify what kind of system we're looking at here. This is linear. Now, it's not our favorite linear equation in the world, because normally it's y equals mx plus b. Um, and most kids just rattle that off, but they can't tell me what it is. Um, and this right here is quadratic. Um, and you guys have been working with equations like this for ages now. You've known how to do this for months. All right, so... I'm going to go ahead and work on my linear system right now. Get that y by itself so that I can just set it equal to the quadratic and work it out from there. Well, this is easy. Um, all I have to do here is add that 15x to both sides. And so now what I'm left with is y equals negative 2 plus 15x. And now what I can do um, is I can actually set these equal to each other now uh, because they both have a y in them, right? And the y is by itself. So now what I can just say here is negative 2 plus 15x is equal to my quadratic system, well, not my system, rather, my quadratic equation. It's not a system, it's one. God bless Mr. Mac. It's early, and he's not terribly bright. All right, so what I'm going to want to do with every quadratic in the world is get it equal to zero. So I'm going to add the two over here, which means I add it over here. I do it with the like terms, guys. I don't just move stuff around and plop it willy-nilly. It's got to go in the right place. All right, so now I've got 0 is equal to negative 2x squared minus 7x minus 3. Wow, that took thought. Holy crap. Okay. So now I'm going to try and factor. Okay, I always try to factor first. Factor. And solve. And if I can't factor, I use quadratic formula. Alright, cool. So let's try and factor. Um, I think that that's the quickest no must, no fuss way to do it. So I multiply 2 and negative 3. I get 6. I'm looking for numbers which multiply to 6 and add up to negative 7. Oops, that's ugly. Negative 7. Good. Well, this is fairly obvious. Um, the magic numbers here are going to end up being negative 6 and negative 1. So now what I've got is negative 2x squared minus 
minus 6x minus, well, we'll just say x minus 3. And now I'm going to go ahead and group these bad boys. All right, well, the GCF of this one, that's going to be negative 2 x. And what I have left there is x plus 3. And then here I've got a minus 1. And when I take that out, I've got x plus 3. So my final factorization is negative 2x minus 1 x plus 3. Alright, now <clears throat> at this stage in the game a lot of folks are going to say um, whoops, that uh, you know we're basically done here and we are we just need to remember that solutions have to be coordinate points so there has to be X's and Y's okay so we need to have solutions like uh, Okay, so don't forget that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start a new screen up as soon as it lets me. Nope. All right. So what I ended up with before was negative 2x minus 1, x minus 3, and that ended up equaling 0. So at this stage in the game it's pretty clear um, I have a factor of x minus 3 so that has to equal 0 so x is going to end up being 3 God, stop connecting so x is going to end up being 3 and over here negative 2x minus 1 equals 0 so negative 2x this is going to be equal to 1, and x is equal to negative 1 half. All right, so I've got those solutions. If I go back to the original system, um, if I'm looking at these equations, it looks like the easiest one to plug into is this one here at the bottom. So y minus 15x equals negative 2. So now for this one here, I'm going to go ahead and say, all right, y minus 15x equals negative 2. I know what this x is. I know that this x here is actually going to end up being 3. So what I've got now is y, jeez, wake up, bamboo pad, y minus 15 times 3 equals negative 2. I'm going to go ahead and solve this all on my own. So I get y minus 45 equals negative 2. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add the 45 to both sides. So y is equal to 43. So now I know one of my coordinate pairs is 3. 43, and that's one of my solutions. Well, same deal here. I know that one of my solutions is negative one half. Now I just need to figure out what the other y coordinate would be. All right, so now I get y plus 15 over 2 is equal to negative 2 and I'm gonna do this the long way okay a lot of you guys are getting really used to just using calculator and I think that's a bit of a problem uh, with this because this is really simple 15 halves okay so what I'm gonna wanna do here is rewrite this 2 as 4 halves so that they have the same denominator and 4 minus 15 is negative 11 over 2. And those are our solutions. Okay, those are our two solutions. All right. Um, and a way that we could check these is by plugging all of this back in. 
and plug it into the other equation, the more complicated one, and see if it works. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys.